Ooh. Oh, it's pretty. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie O. Whoa, I need to chill, man. Lunar Beauty is in the building. Life's a drag. Oh, and happy Pride Month, everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing and debuting the Life's a Drag eyeshadow palette from Lunar Beauty, the Manny MUA that we all know and love here on YouTube. Started his own makeup brand by the name of Lunar Beauty and then created the Life's a Drag palette. I was actually kind of surprised to see so many of you guys wanted me to review and try out this palette. But then again, I'm not because I know that you guys love a lot of color and you guys love when I switch things up and embrace colors every so often. First of all, I think it's amazing to see creators create things. You guys know I'm so pro collab. I'm so pro creators starting their own brands and I love to try to support them whenever I can. So Manny, I see you boo. Like I just can't even imagine what kind of emotions you're going through right now and I'm incredibly happy for you and I'm so excited to try this palette. I did receive this NPR, so thank you Manny for reaching out to me and letting me know that you wanted me to send this palette. I gotta hurry up because the launch party is literally right now. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this look today using this palette, sharing my thoughts. Make sure, because I already know, I know you see a little bit of the sazon in the video. If you like what you see, you might as well join the Jack Anna family. What's good though? It's easy, it's free. We're not gonna spam ya, guys, okay? So hit that subscribe button and make sure you also hit that bell button to be notified whenever we have new uploads because we want to see you come back. And um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now let's get down to business. By now you guys have all probably seen what the outer packaging of the Life's a Drag palette looks like. And it's really cute. It's very sleek. Love the mirrored high shine pink. You guys know I love pink, so I'm a little biased. So on the outside of the actual palette, you get this really, I, I'm really kind of digging this outside color shift rainbow situation. That is mini MUA in the flesh, girl, in full on drag. And then on the back, it's just a clean white, but it also does have that glittery shift. So this probably would be a little bit cleaner to maintain because it's not just plain solid white and it's not cardboard. As much as I'm a package fiend, like I do want it to look nice as long as possible. So good looking out, Manny. Before we talk about the shades, I just have one question, Manny. Why is there, why is there no shade named after Zaya? Like, I just feel like I will be filing a civil suit on behalf of Zaya. I now represent Zaya because like, where's that? Where's Zaya's shade? Zaya is Manny's dog and it is the cutest dog you've ever seen. One of these names very well could be nicknames for Zaya. I'm not sure, but anyway, it's not that deep. I will definitely say when I got this palette and I opened it up, the shades were a lot richer and more they had more depth than what I had seen on Manny's launch video and what I've seen in pictures online. There's just something about palettes and sometimes makeup products being photographed where sometimes they look a little too soft and it can be really tricky. I personally definitely feel like there's enough shades in here. Brown girl crease colors here. Um, you've got a dark matte black. I love this deep. You guys know I love a deep, rich burgundy. These colors just by looking, the naked eye, just by looking at first glance, Okay, we haven't tried it yet. I feel like this is definitely a palette that multiple different skin tones can use, specifically the deeper dark range. Like I almost kind of feel like this palette is low key made for chocolate girls because there's so many rich shades in there. This whole half of the palette here, the first half, this here obviously screams Jackie Ina. I'm gonna try to go out of my, well, I can't really say my comfort zone because I do color sometimes anyway, but you know. So I prime my eye and please excuse this, I, I just haven't done concealer yet. And I'm actually going to the Lunar Beauty launch party tonight. So I'm gonna try to do this timely. Okay, oh, where's my be beauty blender is off the radar. Oh my God, I just dipped my nail in one of the shadows. That is some serious buttery pigmentation chologies. The shadows do feel really smooth to touch very buttery, very soft. I know that's kind of an annoying word to describe shadows, but I don't really know how else you want to describe them, bro. Like, I mean, very, there's a standard and I just feel like buttery is that standard. However, sometimes I feel like swatches are just not the real tea all the time. You also get a dual ended brush in the palette. I'm not sure if this is something that I would use because I don't really know what to do with that. Maybe, you know, actually I'm lying. Maybe I'll use this one just for like the placement of the shadows, like in the center. And the palette retails for $45 on lunarbeauty.com. I do think that that's a good price for a palette. I feel like it's a pretty, pretty well put together palette. I mean, just from the way that it looks, 
the design, the packaging, it's a sturdy, like I'm almost kind of getting colored rain vibes, you know, like just very high class and super artistry driven. Today we're gonna create, I'm thinking something purple and teal, kind of like my last unicorn video, like that kind of vibe. I didn't wanna do what I normally do. Like I'm trying to, and this is what I love about this launch is I'm seeing a lot of people review this palette and I feel like they're all going out of their comfort zone. I don't know what it is, but Manny just has the girls out here wearing color and bright, bold shades when we're normally just living in a neutrals world. Manny, who told you to shake the table? Who told you? So what I wanna do is I'm a little intimidated by, what's, what's her name? Kai Kai, KK, I don't know if she KK or Kai Kai, but we gonna run, run, witty, witty, witty. I'm starting off with a light amount of Kai Kai because I don't know what actually, that's a really nice color. I thought this was gonna be way brighter and way more intimidating, but then again, I also start off with a little bit of pigment. Taking this color little by little, and the brush that I'm using is the Morphe M535. I'm blending this out into my crease, and I'm noticing that this shadow is really easy to blend. Definitely not ashy whatsoever. I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't really expecting anything good or bad. I was just kind of like, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna take Pageant Queen, which is this color here, this is such a very beautiful, smooth to touch color. I really like that color. I'm gonna start working Pageant Queen with a slightly more precise brush on my crease area. I haven't decided if I wanna halo it or I'll probably end up haloing it. I'm just a creature of habit, what can I say? Oh, this is blending so nicely on top of Kai Kai. You know what I feel? is the perfect like gauge of shadows. Once I lay down my crease color, if I can put another matte on top of it without it going, well, without it disappearing basically, then I feel like I can work with this. Kai Kai still exists in a league of its own, so she's not disappearing. She's holding her ground. She's holding down the fort. That's what's up, Kai Kai. There doesn't seem to be very much fallout. There's some here. I personally don't really care about fallout. So Pageant Queen, we're, we're, there she is. Pageant Queen has a little bit of kickback. I personally do not care about fallout, but I know a lot of people who do. One thing that I think I would change about the palette so far is I would love to see another dark purple worked in there for like my crease colors. Okay, so so far we have the pink laid, the purple laid, but this look in my head, well, it already looks way different than what I envisioned, but that's fine. Fishy girl, fishy. Oh, that's a hell of a name. I need to know the inspo behind fishy because there is definitely something fishy about that name. I'm taking fishy and I'm popping her in the center of my lid and blending upwards because we're haloing it up, dudes. Ooh. It's pretty. Like, just when the vision comes to life, that's the best part of the tutorial. Cause sometimes these tutorials can go from zero to 100 real, like zero to delete memory card real quick. Something is just like really urging me to wet the brush. So I'm gonna try that. Oh, that just added the most beautiful foiled mirror shine. But you know what? We didn't really need to do that because I'm gonna throw on more colors on top of Fishy. All right, so I'm gonna now start working the purple back in around Fishy just to make sure everything's blended properly. But Fishy, contrary to what you may believe, is not the main attraction here. And I'm kind of trying to get the most use out of as many shadows as possible. So I'm gonna take Kiki, which is this really cute mint green color here. I'm gonna add Kiki right above Fishy. And I'm kind of cutting it, I guess you could say, kind of. That's really pretty, but it probably wasn't very smart to try to put a matte shadow over a shimmer. But you know what? I can definitely say it kind of calmed, it kind of calmed Fishy down. I, I really feel like Fishy Loki came to attack me. Beat is a, oh gosh, it is just a really gorgeous, frosty, I mean, it's pretty light. This is definitely not a color that I would normally play, play around with. Definitely not a lid color. And I almost kind of feel like it's a little too icy to even be like a brow bone color. But as like a highlight color to enhance like another shadow or even like a tear duct. What is going on? <laughs> beat is definitely right in my alley. Me and Beat could definitely be home. It's me and Beat definitely do go way back. I'm pretty sure we went to the same high school. I'm gonna take Beat and wet her because we're putting this on top of these shadows and start to add, oh, oh, that is 
is beautiful. It's definitely a little bit on the chunkier side. It's pretty glittery, more so glittery and foily, more so than it is like just a regular plain, regular schmegular degular shimmer color. That I can vibe with. In hindsight, I didn't even need to use Kiki. She was totally, she totally showed up to work unannounced and uninvited, but it's cool though, you know, it's cool. I'm definitely getting Xenon Girl of the 21st Century vibes from this look and I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. And once again, we gotta add purple from inner to outer corner. Bloop, the fallout is coming right off. I do see some shimmer there though, but that might be my sweat. I don't know. That might be my sebaceous glands. I don't know yet. Okay, so now that I baked, I caked, I've contoured. Gotta do the under eye stuff. I like doing that after concealer. I'm adding purple liner to my waterline. This is the Urban Decay. You guys know I love these liners. 24 seven glide on pencil in the color Vice. And that's just gonna give us a nice smoky start for the colors we're gonna add on the bottom lash line. I think it's just like really hitting me that this is like a lot of color. Why don't we just go purple? Why not? Let's just do pageant queen. She's been working overtime. She's been working real hard. I actually wish that I had a more shimmery purple for this step, but it's fine. A girl will take what she can get to make the look work, honey. My Stupid eyelashes block everything. That is beautiful. You know what, I'm really gonna smoke it out now. I do have to say I love to see some purple on a bottom lash line. It's probably one of my favorite looks. Oh girl, this situation just became a state of emergency. But for real though, Manny, what's good? Now I feel like I kind of want to incorporate a little bit of fishy along the bottom. There she goes. A little bit of fishy along the bottom lash line too. I'm just gonna pop it along the bottom in the center. I feel like you can never see what's on my bottom lash line because my freaking eyelashes. <sighs> okay, anyways, A for effort moving forward. A little bit of beat, just a touch of beat. Definitely belongs on that innermost tear duct, but because she's really icy, I'm gonna keep it really cute and really minimal. Popping on my lashes. This is my favorite, like my favorite lash. Fluff Lash from Whip Lash. I get so many compliments when I wear this lash and even though this is more like my subtle glam lash, I wanted something that wouldn't take away from the boldness of this eye look. Hi boys, baby you got lunar beauty. Mommy, won't you come and satisfy me? I've been yelling for like ever, ever been day, oh day. Ooh, the lash! No, it's serious when you add the lash and she starts singing. I did add blush, by the way. I used, where'd she go, where'd she go, where'd she go? I felt like the whole like highlighter, like I just felt like that was a lot for this look because as you can see, she's very beat. She's very glammed out. Instead, I opted for a blush that has shimmer. This is the foreign blush book from Pure Cosmetics and I just use this shade here. This is a stunning shade and it's got shimmer in it. I didn't want to add highlight. Like I said, I felt like this was already like, a, highlight just would have been too much and that's that. I'm just gonna add a pop of loyal because I feel like we could definitely add some pink, some rosiness. I'm gonna work this kind of all throughout my face without adding any more product, but I'm like bronzing with it and going along, just going all over, making sure everything just looks Blended and fresh. I haven't decided what I want to do with my lips yet. Dang, wig is snitching on me. We know she wasn't born with it, but did you have to be so loud? Okay, so I have made my final decision and I think I'm gonna go with pink. I'm gonna use two Dose of Colors matte liquid lipsticks. The first one is Bury Me 2. It actually looks red on camera. It's definitely not red. It's Fuchsia, you know my least favorite color. It's fuchsia pink, but I don't mind fuchsia on my lips sometimes for the most part. And this is just bury me without the two. This one's definitely a bit more on the mauve side. Oh yeah, this definitely needed pink. Oh yes, oh yes, good call Jackie. I'm glad I went with pink and it matches my shirt. And that is the final look. Okay, so let's wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Drag it up, drag it up, drag it up, hey! My thoughts on the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette, the first debut eyeshadow palette is, I actually feel like this is well worth the $45. Considering the fact that it, one, looks good. I mean, people can say whatever the hell they want about packaging not mattering. You tell me this, would you spend $45 on a palette that was 
really crappy or didn't look good at all. You just wouldn't do that. Now, obviously the most important part is how the shadows work, the functionality. Do they blend well? Are they pigmented? Do they blend into oblivion when you put them on? And the answer to all those questions, as you know, I answered throughout the video, but overall I was pretty, I mean like, man, are you low key? You low key? Loki Haki did that. I didn't feel like this was a palette that was just slapped together because Manny could put his name on it. I felt like this was very much so something that embodied, oh, trying to open it. Something that embodied everything that he would wear daily. And I I got a good sense that like he wanted this because I'm actually quite surprised considering how deep some of these colors are. And Manny is on the complete opposite color spectrum as me. so. To say that this is a palette that even I can use comfortably, not something that I have to like force into submission, like some of these other palettes out there on the market. No shade, but shade, girl. To me, it feels like it was definitely intentional and not something that was, you know, coincidence. Or I don't know, it could be coincidence, but I feel like he made this a palette for literally everyone. And I think that one of the few things that I probably would have changed also for me is I would have loved to have seen a couple more shimmer shadows. Like this was, a very, very matte, heavy palette. I feel like Kiki really could have popped off this mint color here if she was shimmer. I think it's kind of dope that he launched it during Pride Month. Like I didn't realize it was Pride Month until until today. I'm looking on Instagram and I'm seeing all these colorful looks and I'm like, yes, girls. Yes, honey. Okay, I see you. So overall, the palette, oh, I just feel like this look looks so bomb. The palette definitely gets high ratings from me, two thumbs up. Manny, congratulations on your first launch. That's honestly huge. And I know the amount of work, sweat, and just tears that goes into building a brand. So now that you finally have something that's like in people's hands, I'm sure is incredibly exciting for you. So congratulations. This definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. How was we? We got a little color. But we kind of went out of the box. I feel like that alone is a reason for you to not only subscribe, but like watch the next video. You, you can just uh, say hello to my bundles while the next video loads. Just go ahead and say hello to my little bundles.